It was on the 26th of May 1897 that the world was first introduced to Bram Stoker's new novel, Dracula. It was published in London by Archibald Constable and Company, costing six shillings. The novel was bound in yellow cloth and titled with red letters. It was not an immediate bestseller. But some Victorian fans called it the sensation of the season. And fellow author Arthur Conan Doyle wrote a letter to Stoker in which he said, I write to tell you that I have very much enjoyed reading Dracula. I think it is the very best story which I have read for many years. Count Dracula is directly compared to the devil at times in Stoker's story and the author used Christian imagery and language to help show readers that this was a story about good versus evil, about light versus darkness. And this is one of the weaknesses that Dracula has. He cannot survive in the light of the sun. In our world there is a battle that rages between good and evil, between light and darkness. The Bible talks about this when it says that we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. The devil is real. Not a fictional character dressed as a vampire, but a force of evil that is all around us. But here's the thing, we don't have to live in fear of him, because he has already been defeated by the light of the Son, that is, the Son of God, Jesus. And the Bible tells us that the darkness is disappearing and the true light is already shining. So step out from the shadows of darkness and allow the light of the Son of God to shine into your heart today.